Welcome back everyone, CapKG here, and with me, as always, is Jordy, as we continue going hey. through Camp Camp. This will officially be the last episode of Season 2. It is the second special that they did uh, that year. Damn. And this is Camp Camp Holiday Special, a Camp Camp Christmas or whatever. So, I like that. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> it's so, so max right there. That last episode, the Halloween special, was so freaking good. So it was funny. so good, I know. It almost makes my expectations for this one probably unrealistically high. I know, that's it's hard whenever you see something you really like. Yeah. Um, I wonder what's gonna happen in this one. I really don't... I really don't know where they could go. I, so I'm thinking like, Ruby Chibi, right? They did that Christmas one. Where they kind of did the play on like the um, Charlie Brown Christmas. And the Grinch oh, and some of that love. stuff. Remember that? Yeah. Mm hmm So I wonder if they're gonna take like some other like Christmas story, like I don't know, like um what else is there? Other than the Grinch. <laughs> for Charlie Brown. Oh, for like Christmas story like traditional Christmas story that they can like do a yeah. riff of. Well, like um those claymation specials I used to watch like as a kid yearly with my dad. Do you remember? Like a year without a Santa Claus, um um uh, uh, um, Frosty you know, and like and Jack Snow or some Jack. I actually just thought of one. Sorry, um, that I could see them doing just because of Max is doing. Uh, what is it called? Uh, is it a Christmas Carol with with Scrooge? Yes, yeah, Scrooge. I could totally see them pulling something like that with Max being like yes. not in the holiday spirit kind of thing. Oh my gosh, that would be too good. I could see that, but yeah, I, I don't know. Scrooge. I don't know where they would go with this, so I'm just curious to jump in and check it out. Yeah, I I loved the Scrooge one with the Muppets. That's the one I'm most familiar with. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Okay, so let's <laughs> go ahead and jump up. into a Camp Camp Holiday Special, a Camp Camp Christmas, or whatever. Ugh, I want a Rooster Teeth Christmas sweater. <laughs> I think there's still one on their store. <gasps> I want it! Get ready for next year early. Yeah, right? We'll get a discount now. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing snowflake. to do with it, but like I was at Target the other day. Our winter gear is already on sale and they're setting up the bikini. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That is pretty much how we would react here in Florida. <laughs> we sell snowflake. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I probably wouldn't even see it. I wouldn't even wear what snow. Yeah, right. What? Where is it? Today it was tropical. It was 35 degrees. Everyone was laying out in their bikinis on their front snow porch. <laughs> yeah. For those guys who don't realize, Jordy survived the polar vortex, the negative 60 degree weather they had over there. <laughs> well, and for me, like, last time this happened, the car I had, I didn't have, my heat broke. So I was like, I I'm like, bring it. <laughs> it's fine. I don't believe it. Kids, get over here. Oh, God, snowy. <laughs> what the hell is going on out there? Snow in the middle of summer? I yeah. may still be working what? on my master's oh. in meteorology. Oh. But God. I'm pretty sure we can chalk this one up to climate change. Don't oh, worry, gosh. gang. We'll all uh -oh. get through this weather Camille. together. Wait, we have something to say. Look, nope. something's coming down the chimney that's always been there. <laughs> it's a miracle! I'm just so excited, so excited. everybody. It's just like the happiest, snowiest, most magical holiday of the year. Parents' Day. <laughs> you mean Christmas? Oh, right. Sorry. Remember when she thought it was Christmas and Parents' Day episode? Oh, <laughs> Christmas, it's just nature that's right. trying to kill us all before we kill it first. But can't we just oh. pretend? Pretty, 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 please. Cute. Sorry, Nikki, Why not? It's so fun. A lot of stress. But I love Christmas, David. We can sing songs and play games and have so much fun. Fun. fun oh, that's what fun, David hears. Fun, yep. <laughs> <laughs> even having to ask you? Okay, hold on. David, we That's have too a funny. lot of work right? to do. Without I couldn't agree more, Gwen. You? Quick, what's everyone's favorite Christmas tradition? No, what kind of work? Uh, what? I'm actually Jewish, so I'm not sure this whole thing really applies to me. Yeah, and I don't care. 
Unless you're getting us presents. What? Presents. That's right. And a tree. Huh? And non-specific holiday decorations so no one feels left out. Non-specific holiday I decorations. Time. Don't you worry, kiddos. I'll make this the happiest holiday season for everyone. Yay, and why I'm not? I'm supposed to shovel snow all by myself? Well, that would be great. Thanks, Gwen. And I shall prepare <laughs> a Christmas goose. That's one thing I don't miss is shoveling snow. Uh, humbug. Oh, okay. Well, friends, <laughs> humbug. <as the laughs> children of divorced parents often say, Two Christmases! Yeah! Bravo! <laughs> Finally, my True. hoodie's time to shine. Yeah. Is my head really that big? Look who you're talking to. Yeah. Guys! How are you not more yes. excited about this? Nikki, it's not like we're actually gonna get mountains of presents. Right. I'm expecting a fidget spinner at best. But that's not what <laughs> Christmas is about. Black Friday death tolls beg to differ. Come on, Neil. Tell them <laughs> why Christmas is the best. I don't know. I don't celebrate that stupid holiday. I've got my own stupid holiday that gets dragged out eight times longer. Jesus, right, oh, Jewish. Oh, oh, <laughs> Christmas that's got you freaking out. What's so great? What's so great? Uh-oh. Whoa, they made it into a musical. Yep. <laughs> to deck the halls and spread some cheer. It is my favorite season, though I can't place the reason. Christmas is my favorite time of year. Okay, Rip soft kind of the stuff we are under. Yeah, we get that you like Christmas, but what is it about Christmas you like? Oh, I'll tell you. We'll wrap our presents good and tight. Oh my gosh. And shower Christmas trees with light. Oh, Yuletide carols we shall sing, though I'm not sure what Yuletide means, but Christmas <laughs> is my favorite silent night. So you're about the decorations hanging everywhere. Don't sing. The couples under <laughs> Don't the sing. Snowflakes in the air. No, please. The Christmas morning presents that you open with excitement and delight. So am I right? You got any Christmas spirit? <laughs> I love the bells on Santa's sleigh. And all the reindeer games to play. The point what? Before I vomit. I just can't put my finger on it. But Christmas is my favorite holiday. It's a nice song number, though. It's fun. The high speed jazz in the back. Right? So what you're way too excited. You have no idea. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> so maybe I can't explain why I love Christmas with words, but I bet if I see it, I'll know it right away. Come on, okay. I'm feeling all a Hanukkah out. stocking. <laughs> right. Have these been worn before? I think there's a dreidel in my throat. <laughs> okay. He's gonna look so weird in a like Santa hat. A BB gun? I bet Max would love this. Do you have any safety glasses? Ah, uh, afraid I'll shoot his eye out? Oh no, these are for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that makes much more so. I want to go ice skating! I might do it soon, yay! That helps! Neil, quit being gross! You're missing all the Christmas. What Christmas? Quit dying! All I see is Jesus Christ! Exactly! Preston, aren't you freezing? How can I be cold when I've got the warmth oh of the theater coursing through my veins? Preston I'm putting on a one-man show the of the nativity scene tonight. You'll never believe I don't know how why. it ends. His voice. <gasps> the nativity <I> <laughs> scene. Oh, I love those. They've always got a sheep or something. You got a sheep or something? We better. <laughs> so, what's the word on the manger animals? Jerusalem was it built in vacuum. <gasps> hey, They're cookies. <laughs> oh, oh. my not. Think you got a bad my sheep not. there, Dolph. What is this all made out of? Gingerbread, of course. The <gasps> That's culinary so arts fun. have always eluded me, but Preston provided me with the perfect opportunity to oh. snap that is old Lord Baron cookie. Um, well, maybe you should make it delicious next time. <laughs> Just got that. Really, <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. I mean, when you think about it. So wait, is it the religious stuff that gets you all excited about Christmas? Huh? Oh. Nah, Baby J is cool and all, but I prefer the Santa Baby J. <laughs> back as a zombie with sweet abs. Guess we can cross that oh. off the list. Will you three quit I want a big giant manger? gingerbread Hey man, cookie. Jesus forgives or some shit? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, you're perfect. <laughs> oh, sorry, Tree. Sorry, Tree. Oh, <laughs> that's how I react to like his car. everything. Hooray, Christmas miracle. Nope. Nope. There it is. His face, they're like, oh. Perfect. 
<laughs> now, all that is left is a magician's Aww. top hat imbued with the magic of Christmas. If this comes to life, I really will be excited. <laughs> His face. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't think it would work like this. I just wanted a magic friend. Oh my god. Everything hurts! Oh, still, I'm sad! Aw, yeah, snowmen! Oh, that is so Christmas. That Good stuff, was so Harrison. traumatizing. Right? <laughs> oh my okay, gosh, I wanted Jolly. Is it that you like Christmassy activities? Eh, uh, sort of? But not quite, really, no. Oh, for the love of- Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, loser! And a happy Hanukkah to you, Neil. Thank you. <laughs> what you doing, Nerf? <laughs> oh, you know, just trying to be on my best behavior. You know, in case Santa comes by. You Makes actually sense. believe in Santa Claus. Obviously. Obviously. Who else could deliver all those presents in one night? Or drink all the Christmas beers left yeah. out by the fireplace. The what? Oh, my goodness. Look, guys, I'm just trying to do some good and spread some cheer. Did you just say all the beer left out by the fireplace? Oh, these are just yeah, for fun. Christmas I got a stack beers. stuff of compacted <laughs> ice and marbles for the kids that have been naughty. Sounds like my Christmas. Figured I could take a few of them out to say Santa some Sounds trouble. Like you know, on his good side. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Don't think I didn't see what you did to Neris! Sorry, guys. Duty calls. Aww, oh. even Nerf is getting into the Christmas spirit. Isn't this the best? I knew it. You're just in this for the fat man's presence. What? No. I mean, I respect the guy and all he's doing to compete with Amazon these days, but... Compete <laughs> <laughs> with Amazon. <laughs> Happy holidays! David? Wow, he is having a heck of a day. I my kids, and I'm so sorry, but I promise I will turn this holiday around. <gasps> Don't be oh sad. Oh. I forgot the cranberry sauce. David? It's okay. But this has to be the perfect holiday for everyone. Aw, that's sweet. Aww, but I no don't it think doesn't. you really need any of this stuff for Christmas. What? What? What the fuck? I spent what? all fucking day shoveling snow, and you plowed through it with the car? Oh, there you are, <laughs> I wanted to say thanks for working so hard all the time. Oh. Huh? Merry Christmas. That is really that's sweet. It. What's it? That's what I love about Christmas. It's not giving presents because you're supposed to or being good because Santa's watching. It's just trying to do nice things for other people. But that's not explicitly for Christmas, Nikki. Being mm. nice is just Yeah, but people tend mind. to put themselves oh, on their best behavior. Right. <laughs> Seriously? After all that, the thing you loved about Christmas wasn't even about Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. But don't you think that kind of makes it better? Because, I mean, anyone can do it. <sighs> yeah. Now who wants to deck the halls? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Not that kind of deck. Oh, <laughs> 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 this is so cute. Oh, spaceship. Ah, oh, sweet! A BB gun! Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice timing. Oh my gosh, scary. everyone. I suppose the holidays Ew. aren't that stupid. I mean, they're still stupid and most don't make any sense. But I guess you can still enjoy them. You know what else I love about Christmas? You guys. That was really sweet. That's so sweet. Look at Max is even smiling. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for joining us for this holiday special. We have a lot of fun here at Camp Campbell. But you know what isn't fun? Climate change. That's right, Nikki. <laughs> the atmospheric greenhouse effect of our planet helps to retain heat really energy happening? from the sun yep. and is more or less responsible for life on this planet. But is human this activity really has increased the greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, 40% since joke? 1790. This means that less heat is able to escape Earth's atmosphere and is instead warming things up on our planet at an extremely dangerous rate. Many skeptics of climate change have pointed out that the sun's output is varied through history. Be done! But since the 1970s, when global temperatures began increasing the fastest, solar activity has actually been decreasing. Bullying nerds is one thing, but Holy bullying cow. the Earth? Come on. I may be dumb when it comes come. to a lot of stuff, but I'm still smart enough to believe in climate change. So if you Did or someone really you know is use still this an as a preaching climate moment? change denier, literally what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't even have to go to a library. Just Google evidence supporting climate change and learn something for Christ's sake. Oh, and vaccinate your kids while you're at it. <laughs> fucking morons. 
Happy holidays! <laughs> I love the anti-vaxxer thing they just threw in there. That, oh wow, okay. That wasn't really <laughs> I did not expect that at the end ending. there. No. I was like- I didn't think they would take a moment to like be that serious about it. I was just wondering like, okay, wh at which point are they gonna throw the joke in? Which they did at the end with the anti-vaxxing thing, but it was like- Right. This is going a little too long. Mm-hmm. Without like a joke thrown in. I wasn't sure what they were going there, but um, it kind of reminds me like because it was kind of like a PSA type thing. Red versus blue, for example, d uh, had like PSAs that they would do. Oh really? And from what I remember, I remember a couple of them because <laughs> I only watched like the first season and a half back in the day. I remember I think they had some back then, or maybe I just watched the PSAs when they were coming out. But I can't remember if they were ever like actual serious topics. Or, right. Or I mean, like I think the topics were semi like real but then they but it would just be a joke like psa type thing so yeah I, that's where i why i immediately thought that that's what they were going to do with that definitely not what they did with that so no and so like i don't mean to be a negative nancy you guys but that was just kind of obnoxious to my like i was watching it to like be entertained i wasn't watching it to feel like kind of preached at you know what i mean True. like i yeah. Everyone has their opinion, and if they feel strongly about it, then you can share it. But it was just kind of like, I don't know. It was just, I just don't Yeah, I can see the it. argument made for not the necessarily the right medium to put it into. Like, yeah. Camp Camp in general, I mean, climate change, whether you believe in it or not, or whatever right. anyone's position on it is, is very much a political, a hot political issue. Right. And Camp Camp, although it's been very anti-political correctness type thing, They've really done a good job of making fun of both sides of, you know, they've, yeah. they've done like, they've done like abortion jokes, right? Um, at the same time, they've also um, made jokes about liberal sided things as well, right? Mm -hmm. it's like against pro-life against that. So yeah, it's kind of weird that they would actually then go out and take a show that was kind of anyone could watch and no matter what your political beliefs were, and then really push a political belief that strongly at the end of this episode. But it just wasn't the space that I wanted to hear yeah. it. You know, like I can sure. see. I might it wasn't design, funny. I, can, I guess that's the I, thing. It, it just wasn't. Yeah, it, it wasn't. ruined the it episode. Just, regardless of yeah. what you think of it, it kind of ruined the episode because yeah. it wasn't funny. Right? Because no. if you if if you for example leave the issue. And again, in this case, they did climate change, but they could have done anything, right? If you, if you agree with the side of their issue, then it's still not funny because it's a serious issue. If you don't, then it's not funny right. because, you, like, you, in your example, you don't want to be preached at. So, yeah, yeah I kind of question of doing it. That being said, though, <laughs> I did think, like, Max's ending was pretty funny with the whole anti-vaxxing thing. So, I don't know. I see. I did appreciate that. I think the only reason it felt like the wrong medium is like it just when they do things like that and they kind of try to like throw it in there. Like if they have like um, loyal fans to a show or something, and then they throw in like a political belief like that. That's frustrating to me. Mm -hmm. Even if I agree with it, I find it kind of annoying because it feels manipulative. It feels kind of sneaky, if you know, in a, in a way. So that's just why I don't like stuff like that. But I did like Max's anti um, thing. That, um, that actually, on that note, there's actually, it's weird because people, it is, like you said, it's weird to just kind of slip that in there because people do react very strongly to opinions that disagree with them. For example, I don't care, right? Like, I've gotten right. to the point where I just, if someone expresses an opinion I don't like, I'm not going to stop watching a show or I'm not going to stop watching something just because Same. they've expressed one opinion they didn't like. But... Yeah. It's interesting that people really do react that way. And it actually, I don't know if you ever saw this comment, but it's actually happened to us um, with this reaction channel. Now, this reaction channel, we're just reacting to content, Rooster Teeth, or, you know, I had my Avatar series going, which will come back to people who keep asking. It is coming back. I just got to get everything organized again on a channel. But it's not political. But that doesn't mean that every once in a while when something happens in a show, we react or may make a comment that can give insight to our viewers about where maybe our political, or religious, or oh, worldview, yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah. leanings can lie, right? Anyway, yeah. if you remember, in the uh, season one finale, there was a, when David came out dressed up as an Indian, I made a comment, jokingly, I said something along the lines of, why is he dressed as Elizabeth Warren? Right? And you probably don't even understand what that means, <laughs> but, and some people probably don't either. Elizabeth Warren is a senator, 
um she's a democrat and there was this big like joke like controversy because um she claimed she was part native american and she actually had believed went to got into college or was part of a college program that was for native americans because she claimed she had enough heritage for it trump took that and started calling her pocahontas on twitter uh and stuff and so it was just this joke right so when <laughs> david came out dressed as an indian that's why i made the comments <laughs> it was relevant because it, it was just recently when she did the dna that's test clever, and stuff. <laughs> there was actually a comment on that video from someone which they're not able to post comments on this channel anymore because of that the short version of it was basically like well because of a comment like that i can see where your political leanings lie so i'm not going to watch your content anymore because i can't stand people who are on that side and i'm like first of all okay. i can make jokes about both sides and i do regularly make jokes yeah. about both sides but if like yeah. someone having a political opinion or a religious opinion or a worldview that is different than yours and it has nothing to actually do with the content you're watching or the entertainment form of entertainment you're enjoying and it actually pisses you off so much that you can't watch it. Yeah. Yo, you need then, to do some serious introspection. Like, that is what's wrong with the world right now. We need to take a chill pill on that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, quit so. letting everything, like, goodness, just feel so good about yourself that yeah. not everything offends you. <laughs> I just laughed it off because I'm like, really? Someone gets that offended over a joke? Like, it really doesn't reveal anything when I make the joke. It was current event relevant joke, but... Really, yeah. Whatever. Uh, so... Yeah, but I'm I can understand it. Like, but as an example of how people react to things that might not agree with them. So it is kind of an interesting... On the one hand, I have to hand it to Rooster Teeth because it is a ballsy mm -hmm. and bold thing to say, hey, we believe this. And if you believe that, great. Like, if you right. believe something, um, put it out there. Because if you believe it's that serious of an issue, you should be talking about it. You should I, be putting it And I do respect there. that. Yeah. And the fact that they weren't able, afraid to put it into this medium and knowing that people could react that way. So... Yeah. You know, Even if I was kind it. of annoyed by it, I still respected them for right. it. Anyone who's going to speak up like that, I love it. My problem with it was just that it wasn't funny. Yeah. I was, you know, I was actually having a good time with that episode in general. And now yeah, we spent exactly. most of this review talking about that and PSAs yeah. and old how people react and how people easily get offended with things instead of talking about the episode and... You know, how well, funny I think it was. that's why it was like spoiled for me. So I was like, "Oh, it's so cute! Look at that sweet ending!" And then now we're talking about climate change. I don't yeah. care about climate. Same. It's just the fact that I don't care. I don't want to hear about it right now. I wanted to <laughs> laugh and feel cozy. <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh well. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me back to that Ruby Chibi. They had that episode about <sighs> where they did that brief PSA about if you know someone who uses puns. Remember that one? Where Ruby like came in on screen and like the screen faded oh, yeah. and she had the spotlight <laughs> on her. <laughs> like Gosh. that was funny. Like they did a PSA yeah. type thing, but it was still funny and it was relevant to the episode. And this one was a little, a little too serious for the uh, style that Camp Camp is. But, yeah. yeah. Oh well, it was a cute episode. Yeah, it was. Um, not where I thought it was gonna go. I mean, yes, Max not really appreciating the holidays kind of predictable but he, they didn't go the uh, christmas carol route which is where i thought they might do a goof of so, yeah. yeah i love the charlie brown christmas i need to rewatch it my when grow this is so random y'all sorry before we go before when i was growing up riding the bus to get you know like an intro into like a local talk show or something uh wherever you are there's got to be that like talk show that like is like prominent in that area mm -hmm. Well, there was this local guy who, you know, ran the main radio station down there. And it was a small town that I grew up in. Um, but every single time the jingle was, before he spoke, was the do-do-do-do-do-do-do, you know, from Charlie mm -hmm. Brown. Yep. It was that every single time. <laughs> and I didn't even realize it was Charlie Brown until I got a little older. And I was like, wait, that's from that old cartoon. Like, But now I just, like, cherish Charlie Brown, even though, like, I've never really watched it. <laughs> I, yeah. like cherish anything about it but that's why i was hoping they'd do a little more charlie brown sure. um i it took me a moment to realize that when that snowflake fell down and it started snowing i was like wait that's right they are at summer camp exactly, i didn't even think about too. that we were going into a christmas special I'm like i just like oh yeah now it's winter and I, same yeah so that that was pretty funny we're like wait a minute it's summer <laughs> I know, yeah, me too. I, I like pictured them in like a boarding school or something. Yeah, that was kind of funny too. Yeah. Anything else you want to say on this one? No, that was a good one. I enjoyed it overall. Yeah, I like the uh, Halloween one better, but uh... same Z's.
even if we take out the PSA, I still like the Halloween one better. But yeah, uh, let us know what it's you guys thought. Samesies. Down I in... like the Christmas one a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. I love yeah. the Halloween, don't get me wrong, but I just, it was so warm and cozy and fuzzy. And it's funny because in reality, I was so not in the mood for Christmas this year. I just wanted Halloween to last all year long. But this one was just, it was really cute. And it was fun to see, like, Nikki, like, being the star for a cutesy reason. Sure. That's fair. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I actually didn't expect that from you, so interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know what you guys thought down in the comments, and we'll catch you guys in the next one when we start Season 3 of Camp Camp. So see you guys then. Ooh.